Hello everyone and welcome to the Notion template code docs where you can build code documentation directly in Notion. And this template is structured in three columns. So you have a menu with all your code documentation pages, the center with the main content, and then to the right you have a table of contents with all the headings of your uh, current page. To create a new page from the template, you simply click new and here you can choose the name for your template, for example, server. Click enter and now when you hit it, it's going to create a new page with the template page for the documentation. And as you can see, we have a couple of content blocks that you can use right out the gate. You have these text callouts to highlight important things in your documentation. You also have code samples where you can create examples of code that you use in your, for your documentation. And clicking here, you can change a different language. So this is JavaScript, but for example, if you use Python, you can use Python instead. And then the syntax will perhaps be a, diff a bit different depending on the language you choose. We also have tables, and if you wonder how I did these kind of red labels, use them with the back tick. So I can show you down here that if you do the back tick, and then for example, hello, and then a back tick, then you get this kind of thing. And for me, sometimes you have to clean up uh, these ones as well. And that's why I have also included here some common variable types that you can just double click copy and paste into your tables. We also have some basic charts in this uh, quick copies section. If you toggle on the pie chart, you can see that you have a pie chart here and it's made with Mermaid. If you want to see the code behind this and actually edit this pie chart, you hit preview and then split. So then you see both the pie chart and the code behind it. And for example, here, you can change the label for the pie chart. So let's say we're doing languages here. So Python, JavaScript, and C sharp. And you can change the title by changing this here. So common programming languages, for example. And here you can change the values. So let's just say that this is 70, this is 20, and this is 10. And it doesn't have to be 10%. You can also do it with uh, different values and a mermaid will compute the percentage for you. Here you can also change the theme and add uh, uh, different colors. Another theme you can try is for example, forest, you get a bit of a green color or you can use dark if you want to go for the dark mode. I'm going to change it back to default. And when you're happy with your pie chart, you can just use the preview and you only get this one. Next up is the flow chart. So this is a basic flow chart that you can use, for example, to show some diagrams of how everything works. There's a lot to learn about flow charts in Mermaid, but this is a basic example. So I'm going to do split. And here you can see that you start with flow chart left to right. And then we can start and give these little blocks. So you say a label and then you do parentheses and their um, actual label that you see here. And then you can draw arrows to indicate. And you can just add multiple things here. So for example, I can add another label that code also goes to some kind of evaluation, for example. So that I can see that the code goes to two instead. And when you're happy with it, you can just go to preview and be done with it. And then, of course, you can copy this and change the page. Lastly, we have kind of a little capabilities table if you want to see and kind of compare different things in your documentation. So then you have these emojis that you can just use. So you can add a new row, D, and for example, let's say that D is the almighty one that has all features. Then you can just copy and paste like so. If you want to edit the actual template, let's say you make your own content blocks, you can head over, over to the menu, press the down button, find the template page, click the three buttons, 
and then s click edit. And here you're actually editing the whole template. So for example, let's say I add, so let's say just add another toggle here that just says, for example, headings. And let's say I usually do this kind of heading. So heading with a green background and a little line underneath. They can add that to your template. And now when you do new pages, let's say that this is the client, we can see that that one will be here in the headings. So that's everything for the code docs template. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful.